Right, hello everybody, and welcome to having a look through this sample level one style spreadsheet. Okay, so here we are. So we've got our basic spreadsheet here, we've got some information to put in. Okay, so we've opened the document up already. Okay, and we're now reading through the questions and just take the time carefully just to check if there's anything that, again, might be easier to get done quicker ahead of time than actually waiting towards the end but everything's pretty okay on this one so what we've been asked to do is put some information in so what we're looking at is an event income and we have event income over here is that we've been put to ask some information in for 2015 and we can see that's been left out and we've been given that here so we can just tap that in now okay and my keyboard lets me do that to 002.45 we've done that there the event cost 750. Uh, event costs 750. So there we go. We put that in there. So that's nicely entered. We now need to put some more information on. And that is use a formula to calculate total income from each year. So we're looking at this top part here, total income for each year. Okay. So quick and easy way of doing that is we just do equals and then type in sum. I then do a bracket. I will then highlight what I want, the information I want, and I'll just close the brackets like that, and that's all added up, added up for me. Now, why have I done a formula like that? Well, let me show you. If I didn't use that format, what I'd have to do is enter each cell individually. So, C5 plus c6 you can see what's happening here plus c7 and it's taking rather a long time to do okay so easiest way around that one is to do like i've done here again equals sum open your brackets highlight the information you want close your brackets thus and then what you can do is you can then just drag across like so and I'll put everything in for you, okay? So you have to do each individual column. So then essentially, we just repeat exactly the same process down here, because we're trying to do four and a half total costs of the year. So, like so, do my brackets, off we go. So, and again, we'll just pull across. So everything's there. Okay, so let's have a look now, okay? So, what we've been asked here is use a formula to calculate charity donation for each year. Charity donation is the total income minus the total cost. Okay, so how do we approach that one? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, calculate our, our formula, start our formula here, equals and sum, and brackets. And then you click on that cell up there. So we've got total income minus our minus sign there. Remembering the asterisk is multiplication. We have our minus key like so. Plus is thus. And divide is that. But with minus things, so we just plot the minus in there. And I then go to that part down there. So you can see what I've done. Total income minus total cost. And they've actually given us the hint there. Okay. Use woman to calculate charity donation. Hint, charity donation is total income minus total cost. So they've answered half the question for us. Okay. So I can enter that in there. And then essentially I can then do my drag and drag, drag across. We normally say drag and drop, but drag and across here. Okay. Right. So then what we actually might want to have a look at um, is to look at the average charity donation. Okay. And what we're going to be looking at here is the average charity donation um, over the spread of these four years here. So 2012, 2013, 14 and 15. So what's the average amount we're getting in? Okay. Slightly different, but essentially the same sort of principle. We still have to do our equal sign, but this time we type average in. Okay. I'll then open the brackets highlight everything there 
close my brackets and there's the average okay so what we'll just actually just need to add in there is actually for this question so you can see when we when you actually come to do this yourself um, so I'll just add that in just to get a hint okay years 2012 yeah to 2015 so that'll give you an idea for your revision when you come to do that okay so now we've done that let's just sort of tidy it up which is what i always send so we need to do make it look presentable so we'll just bold that we'll bold that text we'll bold that text okay um and then what we'll do is just do this a little bit differently we'll just put some borders around that borders there and then we can just sort of put the borders like so in okay so that's all just makes it a little bit neater and tidier which again i want you to present we need to put currency in here because we haven't actually got currency so make sure on home we go to general currency bang the currency gets put in there actually we don't want the bold in there by the way which i've just added in so that's why it's always good to just double check the work you're doing and then again just put general change that to currency and we'll do the same just there as well so just a little bits of attention to detail like so okay so we've done that part Okay, we've done that. And let's just put header, uh, header and footer in, or our footer in just for our name as well, because we've been asked to do that. So again, header, footer. And if you're asked to put these specific details in, um, they will be given this information to do. Um, just because I'm doing this live now, it doesn't actually want to quite play ball with me. Okay, which of course, if it does happen, just stick with it and you will be able to eventually get everything in. So there we go, we'll just put our name in, just type it in, like so. And then the other information like we might need like candidate numbers and uh, centre numbers and so forth. I mean say if you are required to do this, you will be given this inf uh, information at the very start of the test anyway so you'll be fine okay done that go back to view go to normal there we go that's all done like so so next part is done that we put a footer in we've tidied things up here made it look a bit neater and tidier okay so we just need to do a chart now which is going to be a charity donation of each year okay so we highlight so and you're probably going to highlight like so. Home. Insert recommended charts. Okay. And there the information comes straight up for us. But it's not quite right down here if we look at that. It's not right. So let's try again. We highlight that. Highlight so. And that happens. Okay. Fine. Don't worry. Take a step back. What we actually need to do is highlight this information up here the year and again using the control key we just tap that down there and now we actually are getting the information we need here with the years on it and the amount of money chart title we can change in a moment and again we have sort of different selections of graphs we can use however unless it specifies otherwise always use it i tend to say go for the first one okay so click on okay and what we can do is just put here charity donation for each year okay now we've done our graph what happens if you are asked to put your graph into a separate sheet in the test okay well what you notice is that we've done this it comes up move chart so we click on move chart new sheet chart one yeah. we're going to put it is always going to be a sheet name chart click on okay and it puts it in for us Okay, let's see if we can just backtrack on that one a moment. Okay, so what happens if we uh, 
forget to do what we've just done. Okay, so let me just do that quickly. Let's just do reboot, okay. Uh, charity donation per year. Okay. Right. I, I forgot to put I forgot to put into a separate sheet. Okay. If you just highlight, like I've done here, click on it, right click with your mouse, you have an option to move chart there. And then you can just append it into a new chart like so. Okay. So there's some examples there of a spreadsheet for you. And um, have a go at it and see how you get on.